What image are we talking about? We're talking about the cross that our people wear, the unks that our people wear, those images. What profited those? Can it save you from destruction? Can it get you out of poverty? Can it make the uh, the black man rule his household? Can it make the, 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 the black woman be an obedient to her husband? Can it stop the boyfriend and the girlfriends and get us back to marriage, which is honorable? Can these things do it? Read it again. What profit is the graven image? Read. That the maker thereof has graven it. Because somebody made that symbol that's around your neck. Those symbols that's around your neck. Read. What profit is the graven image? Uh -huh. That the maker thereof has graven it. Read. The molten image. Uh -huh. And a teacher of lies. A teacher of what? And a teacher of lies. No, a teacher of truth. And a teacher of lies. What you got around your neck is a teacher of lies. Yes. When young people see you and they, oh, that's a nice cross. That thing blinged out. Oh, look at the, uh, that's right. To our African truth, that thing is lying to them. Yes. Because now when they look upon that, they got this man right here in their mind. Yes. Yes. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, bless. I see you watching the videos. I see you watching the classes. Why are you not subscribed? Subscribe today. Click the link below, all right? Don't miss out, Israel. Shalom. Right? I'm from the tribe of Judah. You want to know who else is from the tribe of Judah? The greatest man to walk on this earth. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. He is an Israelite. You are the Israelites, and we're out here to show you that you're Israelites. I do the same thing y'all do. I be preaching all day. I just ain't in the group yet, but I be all preaching praise. all day. See? I stop on the kids. I talk to the kids. I yes, let sir. them know, you know, the Jews tricked us. Right. Tricked us. The so-called oh, white man Most has people us. don't know Hitler had 100,000 Jews in his army. Most people don't know we were sending money to Hitler. Most people don't know all they scientists and shit, when the shit went down, they all came over here. Okay. America hired all they top scientists and shit and brought them over here. Segregation so, only stopped and, not too long ago. And check me out, check me out. And you wanna know what else most people don't know? Read this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people, unto the Lord thy God. So the Lord says that we are a holy people unto the Lord. We are a special, separate nation of people. That's what holy means, to be separate from all of the nations that's upon this earth. But you see... Once you get them magic glasses, it's rules that come with it. There's rules that come with it. You, you, you know, you can never take them all. You, you're gonna see reality for what it really is. Uh -huh. And you can't force it on nobody. You gotta let it come in time and you know and once because you, you, you can't go back once you get them this is an analogy but once you get them eyes open and you get them magic glasses you ain't gonna see the world the same no more right so, so why is it what so see the evil, so see, why is it that we treat each other the way we treat exactly, each other in the neighborhood exactly, why is that exactly because we've been fooled we've been, we've been fooled, fooled with the rap we've been lied to we've been lied to they took our history hold on, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. hold on check me out but more importantly it's because we don't know who we are right we don't know that we are a holy nation of people read it again Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6 uh -huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself Who is Moses speaking to? He's talking to the Israelites right. He's talking to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans uh -huh. He said that you are a holy nation of people The Lord chose you, he didn't choose everybody right. But see, we messed up Read the Lord thy God have chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people unto himself, uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. What's your name, bro? Jay Sean. Huh? Jay Sean. Jay Sean. The Lord says that you are a chosen special nation of people above all nations on the planet earth. Have anybody ever told you that you are above all nations of people on this earth? Have anybody ever told you that? Have anybody ever told you that you were special according to God? Anybody ever told you that? We're out here to show you that you are a part of greatness. You're not a black man. You're not African-American. You're not Puerto Rican. You're, Me you're not Mexican. You are an Israelite, according to the Bible. Let me ask you a question, Jay Sean. So what color is Jesus Christ? Have anybody ever told you that? Who is this man right here? Who is this? He's black. He's a black man. 
This Jesus? Okay, so part of my job is to come out here. Hold on, this you said this your nephew, right? So, and then you said that you, you go out, you teach and things like that. See, that's why we gotta come out here to show you, to better edify our people. Because he just said that this is Jesus Christ. But according to the Bible, we're gonna show him what the description of Christ actually is, right? Verse one. And, and then most people Revelation. don't know, before you get it, most people don't know that was the son of a pope. It is. They took the picture of him and tried to make him be right. Jesus. But, but we gonna, we gonna, we gonna show young brother what Christ actually looks like because right. he can't leave here today thinking that Christ looked like the same people that oppressed him oh, no, and got him in the hoods and got him in the ghettos. He, 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 he just said that this was Christ. He just a little confused right now. Verse one. But Revelations chapter one and verse one. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So right now we are about to reveal to you, my brother, what Christ actually looks like. Come a little closer. Come a little closer, bro. I want you to pay attention to both of these signs, right? I want you to, by, by what my brother is reading to you, I want you to look at these pictures and I want you to tell which one is more likely to be Christ and which one is a lie according to what the slavery we were put in and according to the place that we actually reside in today. Read. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. You see that? It says that Jesus Christ his head and his hairs, meaning the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white like wool. So if you look at this sign, does this brother right here have woolly, I mean white colored hair? Which one of these pictures got white colored hair? This one, right? So now it says that Christ had woolly. His hair texture was woolly. Does this brother right here has woolly textured hair? Who on this earth have woolly textured hair, brother? Black folks, right? Hispanics, Native Americans, touch your hair, touch your hair. That's wool texture hair right there. Nobody on this earth got that same hair like you. Nobody else. You are peculiar, a holy nation of people. God chose you to be a part of greatness. You, they, they, they bullied us and made fun of us because calling our hair what? Nappy. It was too kinky. Now everybody want to be like us. Now, now everybody want to be like us, right? But guess what? They taking our young people and what they doing. They want you to blind that curl, that woolly hair. They want you to perm that woolly hair. Why? To look like your oppressor. To look like the people that put us in slavery. You understand? But Christ said, but the Bible says that Christ what? His head and his hairs were white like wool. Christ had that same woolly textured hair. This is a lie. His textured hair is like a dog like a goat right you see that this is a lie but it says that christ had what texture hair bro wool and who got that same woolly hair you do we do as a nation of people read his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow as white as snow and his eyes and his what and his eyes were as a flame of fire when you look at this sound what color his eyes does this brother have right here blue right Christ said, the Bible says that Christ had eyes as a flame of fire. Genesis 49. What was Christ's first miracle? Genesis 49. What was Christ's first miracle? His first miracle? Was it Lazarus? He turned water into it's wine the at the wedding feast. Well, yeah, so the I got a question for you. Okay. So when you drink strong drink or wine, what color does the white around your eyes turn to? Red. They turn to red. Christ drank wine in moderation. Right. See, our people, when we drink, that turns red as well, but what's the problem? What's the difference between us and Christ? Is that what? He drank in moderation, and today our people drink to get drunk. Right. Overly drinking, and that's what commits sin. 
We'll get that later. Read what you got. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. Who is this speaking about? Christ. He was mentioned way back in Genesis. But our people don't know that. And the pastor for sure don't teach it. He was mentioned in the book of Enoch. I got the original Ethiopian Bible. We got a, but this is what we need. The, this is this is all, all we need Hebrew right here. Bibles in my all, trunk. But guess what? All of those other books is what causes confusions. Right. All of those other books is what got our young people thinking that Jesus Christ is a white man. Right. That not, Christ doesn't exist. Ethiopian God doesn't exist. Hebrew, right. We don't even know who we are as right. a nation of people. King James was a gay dude. King James was a gay dude? King James I'm a gay. gay. Hold that. Go back to Christ because I'm going to show my brother that his Lord and Savior, the best man to walk on this earth, look just like him. Right. And then we're going to get, we're going to deal with that. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes are as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Is your feet the same color as the rest of your body? So what you got like green feet and the rest of your body brown? But for the most part, I'm not talking about the white up under your feet. But the rest of your feet is the same color as the rest of your body, right? So it says, in Christ's feet, brass. read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Dark. Dark brown skin. Like a penny. Yeah, like a penny. Bronze. It's like brown, that. right? And like I a copper you, brown color, think right? About that. That's why Hold on, bro. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Because when my brother walked up here and I asked him what color Christ is, when I asked him who this man is right here, he said it was a white man. So we come out here to show our people what the true image is. Right. You said that you teach the people, but he was lacking what Christ actually looked like. So we're trying to break it down to him, all right? So Christ's feet like what? Like and his feet like unto fine brass. And what color is brass? Brown. Brown, right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take that brass and you put it in an oven, you put it in a burn in a furnace, and you let it sit there, you take it out, what color would it be? Black. That's right. That's right. What am I showing you? That Christ is a dark skinned black man according to the Bible. Right. So I'm going to ask you again which one of these would be Jesus Christ according to the Bible? This one right here. Right. What tribe are you from? Judah. Give me that. You got it? Give me that. Because Christ is what color? And I'm going to show you what tribe he comes from because you are an Israelite. Christ was an Israelite as well. This is something that our people don't know. Read. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It is what? It is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It is evident, according to this Bible, that Jesus Christ sprang out of Judah. Jesus Christ come from the same tribe you come from. The same tribe you come, the same tribe that I come from. Jesus Christ is an Israelite, a black man according to the Bible. You are an Israelite as well. So, you said that King James was a homosexual. Let's see. Give me but the on top of that, before we get there, I know it don't matter what the Lord, you can't break the Lord's word. And I, the Lord's word is always coming through no matter what. Yes. No matter, you, you ain't changing it up. And the Lord's timing is always perfect. So, as long as you praying for discernment when you reading these things and, and you asking to be guided by the Lord, you know, you be straight, read. You'll see through the bullshit because they got so much bullshit out here okay. now. Hold on it's one just... second. I'm going to read one of the bull craps that they got out here today. Read. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Read it again. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. What does that mean? The Bible said that thou shalt not lie down with. Read it again. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Thou shalt not lie with man. Read. As with womankind. As with a womankind. Do you know what that means? A man should not lie down with another man as he do with a woman. Right. So what are we going into? Homosexuality. This is the Holy Bible, the King James Version. Right. So if he was a homosexual, why is the Lord against homosexuality? Right. Something that's running rampant through our community. Right. They're teaching our young people that it's okay. You can like who you can like. Right. You can be with whoever you want to be with. But God said, what? Read it again. Thou shalt not lie with mankind uh -huh. as with womankind. Uh -huh. It is abomination. It is a what? It is abomination. Jeremiah 44. Because see, this got to stop. It has to stop. We got to do better. Understand that you are royalty. You are an Israelite. The Lord gave you laws, statutes, and commandments to govern yourself by. 
This is why so many things happen to us because the Lord is punishing us. Yeah, right. And one of the and things that we do, us. hold on, one of the us. things that we do is engage in homosexuality. The Lord says that it is an abomination to him. Now let's see what abomination means. Read. Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 4. Uh -huh. How be it? I sent unto you all my servants. The Lord is sending all his servants. You're looking at his servants today. You are a servant, but you got to get away from all of those confusing books. You got to get away from the cross around your neck. You got to come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. You got a cross. You got an unk. Right. It's all types of confusion, my right. brother. The Lord didn't give us that. You are part of royalty. Read it again. I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, uh -huh. rising early uh -huh. and sending them, saying, uh -huh. Oh, do not this abominable thing. The Lord sent us out here to give the message to our people. The Lord's prophets come out here to show you, don't do this abominable thing, which is what? Homosexuality. Do not do these things. The things that he read. Oh, do not this abominable thing uh -huh. that I hate. That he what? That I hate. All things that are an abomination is something that God hates. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.